So my name is Tim Riley. I graduated from Parkway North in 1985. I also attended Parkway North Junior and McKelvey Elementary School. Perfect. Can you tell me a little bit about how your full Parkway experience uh, entered into and influenced your professional life? So I believe firmly that the Parkway education I have or I experienced has been extremely helpful in, in what I do and what I've done in my career. Um, I don't know that it had too much of an influence because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do um, career-wise until after college. Um, and it really had nothing to do with what I was studying in college either. I did meet a friend in, in, in the Parkway system that uh, was a musician and I think that if I had to pinpoint one person that was pivotal, pivotal or vital in my um, career choice, it was probably Richard Fortas, who was uh, a friend of mine in Parkway North Junior. Um, he explained to me when he was going through his, um, his experience of getting a record deal with a major label, um, about how that process worked and um, the executive side of that business. So not necessarily the music side where you're creating art, but the people at the music, uh, in the music industry at the record companies that sign the artist. And I didn't know that that was really a job or a career at the time. So I, I, um, I had great interest in ex learning more and exploring that. And it uh, ended up taking me to New York City where I lived for about 10 years and worked in the, in the record industry for Warner Brothers for most of the time. And, um, and that sort of started my career. Um, I now live in Southern California in Venice Beach and I work in the, um, well I just left the video game space where I worked for 12 years running the music department at Activision. Um, any games that we worked on um, from Call of Duty to Guitar Hero, DJ Hero, Spider-Man, um, all the Tony Hawk series, I put in all the music for those games. So whether it was a composer, um, it was a licensed song, or if we did um, games uh, specifically around an artist, like we did a Metallica Guitar Hero, um, that was my project, um, an Aerosmith, a Van Halen, um, those all went through my department. Um, so now I still work in music and uh, branding, so I'm now I'm consulting at a marketing company where I've got partners like Snapchat and Chevy, I've worked with the Super Bowl, um, I'm actually working with the St. Louis uh, National Blues Museum that's opening soon. I've been helping them raise money through, through artists um, and uh, uh, sort of spreading the word and getting people to donate to the cause. So that's what I'm currently doing. Uh, do you have any particular teacher looking back over all these years that, uh, that, you, that were memorable to you at Parkway? Yeah, I, I, you know, it, it's funny. I, um, I haven't stayed in touch with a lot of teachers, but the, the, one, the one person who I thought was, when I think about my Parkway education, you know, it was a really important part of it for me was a, um, was a principal named, or I think he was a vice principal named uh, Mr. Fortner, um, who, uh, who was really supportive <clears throat> when I was a kid coming up and um, you know, we always got along really well. So I do talk to uh, my, my art teacher from junior high who happens to be one of my still really good friends, mom, uh, Miss Cutlin who may or may not be coming tonight. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, any sort of, you know, obviously uh, attractive to have been working in the video game industry, mm -hmm. any particular advice that you would give a current student who might be interested in pursuing that? Yeah, I, you know, one thing I would say is when I was in Missouri and I didn't know exactly whether I was going to go to New York or LA, even Nashville I thought about for a few minutes, um, briefly I should say, you know, I, I had a lot of people tell me it's too hard, you don't have the contacts, you'll never make it, things like that. And, you know, I would say that you, don't, you can't listen to that noise and, and you can't be distracted by that. I think if you have goals or things you want to do, that there's plenty of opportunity out there and you just need to go um, and, and, and make the most of that opportunity. It, you know, opportunity looks a lot like hard work, so be prepared to work hard. and. Um, and, and, and not give up. Great, Any, anything that you would like to close with or favorite memory? Favorite memory? Um, you know, I, a lot of friends, I think. You know, I don't really have a specific one memory, but you know, I still, I still have very close friends from, from my school, Parkway school days, um, that I stay in contact with. And I see when I come home, I still have a home in St. Louis. I have a, a place downtown that, um, that I try and get back three or four times a year, and I see those friends when I can. Um, 
you know, I, I, I played sports in, in school and I, I remember that a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me, that was a, those are good memories, playing football. Um, yeah, that, those are the, the things. I still try and go to football games when I come in town too, you know, if, uh, if I'm here on a Friday. Yeah.